G'day all and welcome back to Unimig. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Unimig Viper 185 for welding aluminium with a spool gun. First of all, let's plug our machine into our 10 amp power point and organise the suitable PPE. Step 1, polarity. Starting off, our earth clamp goes into the negative panel mount socket, while our spool gun goes into our Euro connection. Next, the polarity cable goes into the positive panel mount socket and the 9-pin plug goes into the 9-pin plug socket. This makes our setup DC electrode positive. As well as this, make sure you set your spool gun slash standard MIG switch to spool gun and the selector switch on the front panel to MIG. Step 2 gas connection. It's now time to connect our gas hose to the gas inlet on the back of our machine and crimping it tight using a hose clamp. Also insert the regulator tail into the other end of the gas hose and crimp using a hose clamp. This is the regulator we're using. Now we connect our argon regulator to our gas bottle and tighten using a spanner. This is pure argon gas ideal for MIG welding aluminium. The next step is to attach the other end of the gas hose to the regulator and tighten once again with a spanner. Step 3, torch setup. We will be using the PLSP 240A spool gun for this setup. Part 1, rollers. To access the roller, flip open the protective cover, untighten the tensioner screw and snap back the tensioner arm. To change a roller, insert the supplied spanner underneath the roller and tighten the retaining nut, taking off the roller. To replace, simply insert the desired roller onto the spindle, replace retaining nut and tighten. Part 2. Attach first consumables. Firstly, put on the gas distributor, screw on the tip holder, tightening it with MIG pliers. Part 3. Installing the wire. To install the wire, unscrew the housing cover and pull back the brake. Feed around 30 millimeters of wire into the inlet tube and place a spool of wire onto the spindle, releasing the brake onto the wire to ensure the wire does not unravel. Make sure your wire feeds through the inlet on top of the roller and into the following guide tube. Next, clamp the tensioner arm closed and tighten the tensioner to apply just enough pressure so the wire will feed through. Part 4. Feeding the wire. To feed the wire, pull the trigger on the spool gun until the wire comes out of the swan neck, not forgetting to replace the housing cover and screw tight. Part 5. Attach final consumables. The next step is to screw on the contact tip tightening it with MIG pliers. Followed by pushing on the gas nozzle and cutting off the excess wire. Step 4. Spool gun welding. There are two controllable parameters on this process. We will be setting it up for welding 8mm aluminium. The wire speed control determines how much wire per minute will feed through your gun while the voltage controls the amount of heat and penetration. These two parameters need to work in harmony to get a sufficient weld. Now that you have set your parameters, it's time to turn your gas on to around 10 to 12 litres per minute and attach the earth clamp to your workpiece. You're now ready to weld. 